here are the reasons why the crypto market is crashing today. Binance is strongly leaning towards scrapping FTX rescue takeover after first glance at books. So not only is one of the largest crypto organizations in the world falling apart, but it might not be rescued, which is what was previously anticipated. So because a lot of people that don't know what is going on are uncertain, they're panic selling their positions. But here are the organizations that are very certain about what is going on long term. BlackRock, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and Fidelity are building out blockchain infrastructure in the middle of this for the long term. So there's some short term murkiness for sure, but in the long term, the picture is pretty certain. Solana price nukes 40% along with other SAM coins. So any asset which is even associated slightly with one of the founders of FTX is crashing in price, even though again, Long term, hundreds of millions of dollars being put to work on Solana, massive transaction growth, huge partnerships with Instagram, short term associated with Sam. So you guys get to decide which group you want to be in, the short term or the long term group who's analyzing this market. Now, again, the backdrop for all this is, again, driven by short term interest rate hikes. Fed approves 0.75 point hike to take rates the highest since 2008 and hints at change in policy ahead. So yes, interest rates are as high as they were back in our last massive financial crisis, which caused everything to collapse. But will that be short term as well? Because this is what the market seems to be sleeping on. Powell reiterated that there may come a time to slow the pace of rate increases. So they're starting to slow. They're starting to pivot slowly but surely. Interest rates cannot stay this high forever. And yes, interest rates are causing all this because FTX would have been able to raise capital super easy in a low interest rate, high liquidity environment. It's just right now, people aren't giving out money because it's scarce. Can't you guys just feel the oxygen of the financial system starting to dry up as interest rates spike and liquidity dries up? That's what's going on in crypto. It's happening in real estate and stocks. So we get to take a look at the crypto charts and understand exactly where we are in the cycle. So we are now 364 days since the top of Bitcoin. Just like back here, we had 364 days since the top of Bitcoin in 2017. So how would you have been feeling down here? Would you have been feeling terrible and miserable? Or would you have found the discipline to purchase because you believe in it in the long term? You get to make that decision right now. It is a very similar situation. So let's dive through the fundamentals of this space to understand what is really going on beneath the surface. First up, crypto.com, another crypto exchange. This comes from the CEO. Our direct exposure to FTX meltdown is immaterial, less than 10 million in our own capital deposited there for customers trade execution. That's very little compared to our global revenues surpassing $1 billion for two consecutive years. So crypto.com, an absolute cash cow thriving in the middle of the crypto winter. Let's look at top blockchains by the increase in unique addresses. We've been talking about how phantom unique addresses are absolutely pumping, beating even BNB chain, which is just a massively powerful asset now. Polygon, beating Polygon, Ethereum, so we're talking like 7 million new addresses added to Phantom. Binance Chain, we're talking like 6 million. Polygon, we are talking like 5 million. So just massive growth in these assets, just keeping you posted on that. Let's look at the Hedera Hashgraph ecosystem. EA, Electronic Arts, a massive company, licensed esports platform Realm, launches an Apex Legends. So they're building out gaming on top of Hedera Hashgraph. Electronic Arts, absolutely massive.